so much in the headlines in the recent weeks across this country. We're going to turn now to a cafe in Utah that's doing more than just coffee. Yeah, uh, a couple that runs it, uh, providing a special service for gun owners. ABC's Kira Phillips explains. Too many. Words we hear far too often when talking to families and friends of veterans who've died by suicide. It's not just a veteran problem, it's a whole community problem. A problem Jamie Butters and his wife Mindy take personally. I know if this, if this would have been available at that point, he would be here today. Yeah, for sure. Jamie and Mindy's friend, veteran Herb Haller, was struggling with post-traumatic stress. You would have never thought anything was wrong with him. He seemed like the happiest person on earth. And his girlfriend actually tried to hide his guns from him, but he ended up finding them. And on June 6, 2021, Herb died by suicide, and the Butters realized they had to do more. Welcome to my coffee shop. That's why they turned their coffee shop, Cash Coffee Cafe, in Logan, Utah, into a safe place. I came up with the idea because we had a, another veteran bring in his guns and say, here, can you hold these for me? Anyone, specifically vets, struggling with suicidal thoughts. Safe is about two weeks old. Can now store their guns here while getting the counseling they need. A waiting period, firearm free, that the Butters hope will help save lives, lives like Lee's. Jamie and Mindy actually talked me down, and it was the first time that I ever actually got real help. Lee, who has asked us to protect his identity, was injured by six IEDs while serving in Iraq. He says his life was shattered. My life pretty much fell apart. And that was the first time I started getting suicidal tendencies. He had already attempted suicide three times until the Butters mission moved him. They were genuinely concerned about what was going on, how I was feeling, what I needed. Help, this Navy vet said he needed too. Struggling with mental illness and alcohol, William also wanted to take his own life. Some things had happened at home. I didn't see no way out of it. So I grabbed my gun, threw it in my backpack, and went to leave. And as soon as I did that, my wife was on the phone. And on the other end of that phone call, Jamie Butters. I pretty much physically had to take his gun out of his hand, and it was a pretty scary moment. Wrestling that gun out of William's hands, convincing him to store it here in Cash Coffee Cafe. Right now, the gun I was going to use for myself is in the safe behind me. I truly believe if, if my wife wouldn't have gotten a hold of Jamie, I wouldn't be here. Today, the Butters say that safe holds three pistols, two rifles, and a knife. Securing those weapons and assuring these veterans their life is worth living. They're bringing their gun in, they're, we're putting their gun in the safe, and we're helping them find somebody to help them. And it's not like we just drop them off and call it a day. We actually point them in a direction to a counselor, somebody who can get them some help, somebody they can talk to. Silver Stars, Bronze Star. So far, that's like Williams say, it's working. Jamie and Mindy have been so kind to my family and helping me out. These are true, two truly, truly amazing people. And our thanks to Kara Phillips for that. And we want to remind our viewers, help is available. You can call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline at 1-800-273-8255. It's free, it's confidential. It's around 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.